What's going on guys, Carmine here, and a while ago we got some interesting news on Game of Thrones' Season 8's new release date, as well as a bit of new footage. Now please pardon the thumbnail, because technically this is new footage, but at the same time it's not internet breaking new footage, if you know what I mean. And it gives a bit of speculation as well. But what we'll mostly be discussing for today is the news that Game of Thrones' new release date is uh, a bit different than we initially thought, and a bit of news about the spin-off prequel. Now what you're seeing on your screen now is the teaser trailer that HBO normally puts out when they're trying to get people excited for their new roster of shows next year. But the thing that's weird is that they normally dish these out around the last few weeks of December and not August. But nonetheless, the trailer had a bit of new footage from the new season of Thrones and well, here it is. And judging by what we can see here, it's Jon returning to Winterfell with Sansa hugging him, and she looks over his shoulder to see a certain someone. Now that certain someone can either be one of the two people, either Daenerys or Tyrion. Many people are saying it's Danny, but I hope to god it's Tyrion, mainly because Sansa hasn't really spoken to Tyrion in almost two years in the show, and the actors haven't had a scene together in about four to five years, give or take. Season four premiered in 2014, and they left each other after Sansa is taken away by Littlefinger, following Joffrey's death, while Tyrion is in prison, and then later taken away by Varys to Essos. Normally Sansa shouldn't have a reason to hate Tyrion, especially since out of all her husbands, he was the most kind, but then again, who knows what kind of bullshit the writers will make up. I mean, remember that time Sansa told Jon Snow she was mean to him when we never got to see them have one scene together in season one? Regardless, I hope we have a nice reunion between Sansa and Tyrion, but it would also be nice to see a conversation between Sansa and Danny. If I had it my way, I would have kept Jon Snow dead in Season 5 and had Sansa lead the way for House Stark in Season 6 and 7, but I'll save that for another video. And it's also likely she's hugging him because she's relieved he wasn't at the wall when it went down because it's likely that they've received news of the White Walkers tearing it down, or at least making a big hole in it. And the other bit of news is that Game of Thrones might not be returning until the summer of 2019 when, I swear, Maisie Williams in an interview with Metro said that we'll be getting the usual release date for the final season in April of 2019. But according to visual effects supervisor Joe Bauer in his interview with the Huffington Post, which I'll leave down below in the description, he says that the last season of Thrones would be eligible for the 2020 Emmys. Now, I don't really watch the Emmy, so I don't really know much about when these things normally air, but according to the article, that would mean it, that the cutoff date for the 2019 Emmys would be May 31st. If Thrones Season 8 won't be able to qualify for that one, then that means we'll likely be getting Season 8 post May 31st and in the summer once again. Now, this does disappoint me a little bit, but if it's going to take that long to get all of this underway, then I'm expecting every episode to be full-on, non-stop insanity with the best special effects television has ever seen. And not only that, but maybe it just feels... Maybe it just feels long, considering the summer is literally just ending as of the recording of this video. It's about to be, like, September in, like, two days. And, but damn, dude... That just, that just seems way too far off, fuck. In another video I said like how Game of Thrones Season 8 is fast approaching, and it's not even fast approaching, it's like moving at a snail's pace. It's like 12, almost 12 months until the new season, fuck. But then again, look, I just, I just miss the show. It's, it's always great to have it, you know, in the summertime. But I, I, I just miss a lot of things. You know, I, I miss Ned Stark. I miss Littlefinger. Ramsay, you know, Tywin Lannister. I miss good writing and all the times they weren't ruining Stannis' character. You know, the, the, the simple things. I miss the simple things. But the other piece of news is that this guy dropped is that the pilot for the prequel to Thrones will start shooting in February of 2019, which look fantastic. That's actually a lot faster than I thought they would start it. But I was expecting the prequel series to come out in 2021, but it looks like we'll be getting it in 2020 because it normally always takes Thrones a year to shoot and produce and then comes out the following year. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy, but I thought they'd take a year break and then continue on, but if they're confident enough that they can make a good show from this, let's do it. Let's just, let's just leave Dave and Dan at home. Let them ruin Star Wars for a bit and leave Game of Thrones to someone else, you know? But overall, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be sure to ding that notification bell and consider supporting us on Patreon and get some extra goodies. We recently recorded an episode about Comic Book Girl 19's departure and recent return to YouTube, which should be out shortly as a Patreon exclusive, so look forward to that. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.